Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be sharing with you 10 best indoor plants that grow in water. Before that, please subscribe to my channel so you don't miss the upcoming videos. Indoor plants that grow in water are an attractive option if you want to have plants in your apartment or home and do not want to bother with soil. You can grow an indoor garden in just about any watertight container providing it is not lined with copper, lead or brass. You should avoid metals, which can rust in water or react to any of the chemicals in plant feeds or fertilizers as there is a high risk that the plants will get poisoned. Okay, here are 10 indoor plants that grow in water. Number 1. Pot hose. As long as it has enough nutrients and the right amount of light, your pothose can grow in water. Pothose plants have gained the reputation of being a beginner's favorite. Many plant parents start out with this spade-shaped variegated beauty because of how little attention it needs. Number 2. English Ivy Growing ivy in water is an easy and reliable way to propagate the plant. The most commonly found version is Heterohelix or English Ivy. An easy-to-grow plant, it can be grown as an attractive indoor plant or incorporated into flower gardens. Ivy is also a great way to add structure to a living wall or garden. Number 3. Philodendron. Not all species of philodendrons can grow in water, but the popular heart leaf philodendron and velvet leaf vine philodendron can be grown in water. Clip a cutting from the node and put it in a jar of water. Number 4. Moth Orchid Showy Vanda orchids, which are often grown in glass vases without compost, require a specific watering regime. Fill the vase with water daily in summer, then empty it after half an hour. To water moth orchids correctly, look at its roots. Don't water if these are green but wait until they look silvery instead. Number 5. Spider Plant Growing a spider plant in water is a first step to starting a new plant, but not a sustainable system. Spider plants produce little tufted growths at the end of their stems. These can be taken off the main plant and allowed to grow roots as separate plants. Number 6. Dumb Cane To root Diefenbachia in water, cut stem sections that are 4 to 6 inches long and remove all the leaves. Place the cuttings in a glass of water and change the water as often as needed to keep it clean. If you let the cuttings form long roots in water, the stems may be more difficult to transplant successfully. Number 7. Impatience. Impatience can grow in water for quite a long time. Remove all the lower leaves and submerge their cut ends in water. Once they form long roots, transplant them in pots. This way, more new impatience will be ready in the nick of time. Number 8. Arrowhead Plant Arrowhead remains green throughout the year and thrives well in bright, indirect sunlight in a warm location. You can easily grow it in both potting mix and water. 
For propagating the arrowhead plant in water, you will need to take stem cuttings from a healthy plant. If you don't have this already, buy it online or from a plant nursery. Number 9. Begonia. Even the fancy Rex begonias and tuberous begonias will grow in water, and only a single leaf is necessary to start a whole new plant. It may take a couple of months for roots to form, and it's wise to perform weekly water changes to prevent bacteria that can lead to rot. Number 10. Dracaena. Dracaena can grow and live in water indefinitely without a time limit. As it is weird as it sounds but plants are very adaptable species. The same inherent quality that made Dracaena exists now. It will make it adapt and live in water. That's it. Thanks for watching. And remember, if you like this video, click that red subscribe button down below and make sure you guys have any notifications turned on, so you never miss those upcoming videos. And see you next time.